Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are setting up my planner for September and getting it ready to go. We are gonna be working in my A5 wide planner today. Um, I have a new cover for this month for fall that I have made and if you can see, it does have some pretty pink foiling on it, which I just think is so pretty. So the back cover matches, and then on the inside, it's just the same um, as this one here, <clears throat> this color. I have chosen some pink gold discs for this. Um, these are a little bit bigger than the ones I normally like to have on here, like on my A5 wide, but I think they're gonna work because I do, by the end of the month, it is getting um, a little bit full um, with the discs that I currently have. So we're gonna go with these ones for the fall and see if they really don't work. I can always switch them back to the um, black metal discs that I have on, um, that I've had on for the past few months. So there we go. I think that that looks really, really pretty for fall and the pink discs, I think just add a really nice touch to that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, get this set up with the inserts that I need and use regularly and then we're gonna do my September monthly spread. So the first thing that I'm going to put in are these two sheets here, which I use to help me plan out um, the month ahead. So I have my Etsy planning and my monthly prep. So I'm going to put those in here. I keep them in the very front of the planner. Um, you probably recognize this artwork. It's from a planner Pixie Co kit that I've used a few times called, I think it's called Summer Nights. Um, so you've probably seen that a few times on this channel. I just thought it was so pretty that I wanted to use it for this. Okay, the next thing we're gonna put in are the monthly spreads. So I did print um, monthly spreads for the rest of the year. So we will have um, the next, four months and the rest of the year taken care of here. So we're just gonna put this in here. All right, I'll just put that there. And then it is time for the weekly spreads. So I've got a bundle here for September. I'm going to split this into two. So we'll do these three. I am sticking with the same layout. I know I keep saying that one of these months I'm going to try making the uh, Dutch door inserts a little bit smaller, like more of a half page rather than a sort of two-thirds page, but I'm not going to um, bother with that for now. So in here are the weekly spreads, and then we will pop a set of Dutch doors into each week. So we have Monday through Sunday. Second week here. Here's where we find out if I printed enough of these. Um, there are five weeks that fall in the September uh, sort of planner month, if you will. Um, and I should have just the right amount here. that like that. Uh, the next thing I am going to add are the calendars that I use for YouTube planning. So those go back here and again I've got um, through the end of the year 
And then the last thing that I put in is just some note paper. All right, now I do have some dividers once you close. So you can sort of see that through there. I don't mind that. I don't think it clashes entirely with it. And I just think, I honestly think this is so pretty. All right, so I do have these dividers. So the first one I just have labeled plan ahead. It just goes right here. This is obviously where I plan ahead for these things. Okay, next up we have the monthly. All right, we'll have our weekly section split out here. Our YouTube section. Sorry for the glare there. And then I've got one that's actually left over from an old planner setup, so it doesn't, whoopsie, it doesn't quite match these ones here, but it says um, notes on it down here. One day I'll get around to making one for the top, but for now, this works fine. And then the last thing, ooh, the last thing that I like to add in here is just a clear pocket. And usually what I use this for is um, keeping whichever kit I'm using for a particular week, I'll keep in here so that if I want to add something, I can just grab it. So now when we close this up, we have our tabs at the top. We've got our planning ahead section, our monthly section, weekly, YouTube, and notes. So now we can jump in and plan the September monthly spread. All right, I did have to grab um, August from my August planner because uh, I put all my months together um, before the weekly sections. And so I'll add this in. I like to keep six months of monthlies in my planner at a time. So this one will just go in um, the new planner when September gets here in a few days. So the kit that I am using this month is another planner Pixie Co kit. Um, I, I just, I love her. <laughs> Um, so this is, it's just called the September monthly, um, on her, like in her store, but it is the same artwork as the, I think it's the cider lane, um, kit that she's also got, which I also own and you'll be seeing in a few weeks, I think, cause I can't get enough of it. Um, so I did change it to a Monday to Sunday start, um, like I normally do. So I did have to add this box here, um, because on the original one, Tuesday would be here and that's the 1st of September, so I've added that. I'm gonna use the functional sidebar again this month, so I've got lots of extra uh, functional boxes here. Some more there. We have uh, full boxes, washi, and flags, and then more flags and script here. So I am excited for this kit. The other things that I have pulled out, oh sorry, here are the date dots um, from the kit as well. I also printed um, some more arrows this month. However, I have um, resized them considerably. So they are still the little Hobo Basics arrows from Planner Pixie Co. I just shrunk the whole sheet down a little bit because I found that last month they were just a little bit um, too big for the spread. So I've got those. And I also have my custom scripts here because I really, really liked doing that in August. I love the way that it looked and I want to do it again this month. So let's get this beautiful kit down. That is basically a perfect fit. I love it. All right. Here's hoping it goes down smoothly.
so I have mentioned this many times before in my planner, um, but I always either look for um, a monthly kit that has a Monday start or I edit uh, the ones that I find. Um, that's not super even. Let's see if I can fix that a little. I uh, I think I must be in the minority um, of people who like Monday starts. There must just be far more people who prefer Sunday ones. But I just think if your planner goes from Monday to Sunday in the weeklies, it just makes sense for the month to go Monday to Sunday as well. Why is that still crooked? Maybe the page is crooked. That's possible. Uh, it's totally possible that I could. Oh, it is. Look. It's totally crooked. Okay, so that's fine then. That's straight with the box, so that's okay. All right, sidebar. I um, had originally thought about using one of my new monthly kits in my planner this month. Uh, and I will definitely in my budget planner, um, which you'll see soon. Uh, you might have already seen filming a little ahead here um, but I could not resist this kit and I do like that so far oh uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that up maybe uh you know what it's okay I'm just gonna leave it it'll be all right like that um, so far I'm really liking the having like all one stores kits um, in my monthly spreads like they just really gel with each other and I like that. Okay, I'm not going to make you sit through me putting down these date dots. I'm going to skip ahead and I will be back when these are done in just a minute. All right, I am back. I've put down the date dots. Um, there are a few that I've left off here because I want to put full boxes on them. Um, so I'll put those on afterwards. But for now, we can jump right in. So the first thing that I like to mark is um, paydays on here. So I like to use these flags here. Um, so I'm gonna put a flag here on the first. There actually, there's two paydays to mark there. One is that I get my magazine um, pay, that's always on the first, and then Etsy is every Tuesday. Um, my husband has a payday on, whoops, the fourth. Is that there? <clears throat> I will have an Etsy payday that day, but there's quite a lot to mark on this day, so I'm going to leave it for now. I may not put a flag down. We'll see um, in a few minutes when we get there. So then the next one will be the 15th for Etsy again. And then I have one on the 17th. And my husband gets paid again on the 18th. And then the last two are the Etsy ones. Good thing I printed additional. Actually, I don't think I did print additional flags. I think these came. They all came in the kit. Okay, and then I do have the payday scripts from the store, which I'm going to put at the top here. And then over here, I've got um, my custom scripts, and I've got little ones that can go under here. I don't know why the... Um, the kiss cut printed so big on that so we have two that day so i'm going to put that there the fourth is my husband oh i didn't put a hold up 
getting ahead of myself. So let's do payday. And we're going to put chair there. Same thing down here. And the other chair. Alright, the 17th is me. And then, let's see, so, payday, and payday, and then we will put these Etsy ones here. I think I planned not to put one there because I only have um, enough Etsy scripts for that. All right, paydays are down. So now I think we can move to the day to day. So on the first, my daughter has a doctor's appointment that will probably be done no, it's for sure going to be done by um, phone. Um, it's really just to get a prescription renewal. So I'm just going to put that there. <clears throat> and on the Friday, I have an Etsy release. Maybe I'll put the boxes down on all four of the Fridays now? Maybe not. So, Friday. Uh, maybe I will. While I'm over here. Whoops. Oh, hold on. Before I do anything else, there is something that I need to mark. So I want to put the washi down for the weeks that my daughter is here. So let's grab maybe this one. Don't think we're gonna have enough of one color, but do I have brown washi? I don't think I do. Okay, so she's gonna come to us on the 11th. I always think I've printed enough washi and every single time I realize that I haven't and I don't know what my deal is with that. So she'll come to us there. I'm going to put this piece aside. I'll need it um, probably in a moment, but I will come back to it. Okay, so I'll alternate the colors. So I'll do this one. Hold up. Right, so all that week and then... All of whoa of this week here. And then we'll do the lighter one in between. Uh, so that'll be the 14th. All right, once we get to the 11th, I will put a box down um, to show that she is here. I just wanted to make sure I got that before I messed up and put something 
um, where I needed space for the washi. So the Friday I said was an Etsy release. So what we're gonna do is the same thing as last month. I'm gonna put the script here and then we're gonna grab an arrow Oops. And put that, how did I put it on these ones? Okay. And just put that there. Super cute. <clears throat> okay, nothing on the 5th. And on the 6th is my uh, daughter's friend's birthday. So let me find here my little oops she is going to be 6 which is crazy so i'm just going to put that here and then i have just a script that says her name which is pagelin and we'll put that right there cute all right the 7th is labor day so i did want to put down a full box. So how about this one? All right. So now we can put down the date dot. just there and then so I've got a script for that I'm just gonna plop it right in the middle or maybe closer to the top and then if there's anything else to mark that day we can put it there although I doubt that there will be okay the eighth is a big day so it is the first day of school which obviously will look way different this year than it does normally because we are doing distance learning. Um, and then my daughter and I also have haircut appointments um, in the afternoon. So I'm going to work backwards and we'll do, oh, that matches the box underneath it. Maybe that one on top after. So we'll do the one for the haircuts first and I have a script for that and then first is school which is crazy and I have a script for that So I think what I'll do, because that's why I didn't put the flag there, but I think I will put, where are the scripts? Yeah. I think I will put this last payday just in the corner without a flag. Busy, busy day. Alrighty, the 9th, there's nothing. The 10th is my deadline as per usual. So I have not used many of these ones yet. So let's use one of these. This one also matches now I see, but that's okay. We're just gonna go with it. So I have a deadline, here we go. I think what I did was put that here and then I used another arrow to point down and I wrote that it was my October deadline. Okay. All right, the 11th, so I wanna mark, first of all, that Chloe is home. That's my daughter. Um, so she comes home that day from her mama's, um, and it's also an Etsy release. So, 
pull this one. And then we'll do release. And a cute little arrow again. Okay. The 12th, we don't have anything. The 13th, my husband has a race um, that he is planning to go to right now. Um, that can change based on just this, we know what we have going on over the course of the week and um, if he is feeling up to it, but I know he is looking forward to possibly doing it, so we're gonna mark that. There. We are already halfway down the month, which is crazy. The 14th, there's nothing. Actually, there's nothing all of this week here, like the first half. The second half is an Etsy release. The 19th, my husband may be at a race. It's a like a weekend one. Um, and I did print the script for it. I'm just not sure. I might just stick it up at the top here. And then if he doesn't go, I'll just do my best to peel it up. Um, or cover it somehow. I don't think he's sure yet about the weekend one. Okay, nothing again this beginning of the week. The 25th is Etsy. Etsy. And then the 25th and 26th, so I thought I had printed two of these scripts, but the 25th and 26th are going to be a weekend off for me. And what this means, so my husband was away a couple weekends ago um, at a race. And it was just really, really good for me to have a few days on my own Um where there is like no expectation of me whatsoever. Um, and I can do my own thing and it's just, it's so good for my mental health that when my husband came back from his trip, I asked him if it was something that we could do once every six or seven weeks or so. Um, and he doesn't have to go away. He just has to not expect anything from me on those days. And he agreed to it. And I love him so much for that. So I am going to put this sticker that says Kate's weekend off. I was certain that I printed two, like one for each day, but I'm going to put it here. And then next time I'm printing scripts for something, I'll just print an extra one for that. But there, oh my god, I'm so excited. You have no idea. Okay, uh, and then the last thing that we're going to mark is the last full box. On the 30th is my wedding anniversary. So, <clears throat> let's stick that in there. And grab the 30 sticker. And I do have... 
a script. That we will put there. And then I've got a little three that I printed. Um, that I think I'll just put there. So third year, third anniversary. Okay, so that is all we need to mark um, in this part of the spread. So let's move over to the sidebar. So I, last month I printed some extra scripts for these and I did the same this month. I just added the word bills. I just have the same font um, that Randy uses in her kits. So I think... So I'm going to put bills there and then I am going to use a little arrow because I just think they're so flippin' cute. And we're just going to put that there. I'm probably, last month I used two, but I had forgotten some of the bills. So I think I might need three this month, but let's see how we do. So on the first we have rent and the reason that I put them over here and not in the spread is that this is just for me like quick reference when I'm doing my weekly planning um, to see what's coming up I plot out the actual bills and income and things like that in my budget planner car insurance on the 9th and tenant insurance but it didn't all fit 15th we have our credit card payment The 18th is our car payment. And then we will grab another bills header here. Okay, the 20th we have oops, utilities. Twenty-first, we have two. So there's YouTube Premium and Life Insurance. Twenty-sixth is Hydro, so our electric. Um, electric. It's kind of crooked, isn't it? Oh dear, okay. That was hanging on by a thread. And the 27th, oh, this one broke off too. Or I just didn't do my cut lines properly. So, 27th is cell phones. All right, and then, so we do need the third one, which is fine, because one of these I did, last month I did, um, like, next month, I think, and I didn't, uh, I didn't need that. I don't think I wrote anything in it. Okay. Last three bills, the 28th, is Netflix, the 29th is Office 365, and the 30th is um so splitwise isn't a bill it's settling up um the app we use with my daughter's mom to um like share expenses and stuff like that all right we got those down uh the next thing that i want to do is goals and unfortunately 
My goals for September are the same as they were for August because August was insane. So they are finishing my sticker inventory, which becomes more and more important every month because I have a kit buying problem. One is a digital declutter, which is actually an ongoing goal. It'll probably be there every month, no matter what. Because it has to be done so often. And the last one is figuring out TikTok, which I mentioned last month as well. I don't mean like just to post funny videos. I mean that people, I've seen people using it to promote like their Etsy stores and things like that. And I want to try some of that, but I just did not have time in August. Okay, and then the last thing that needs to go down here is remember and the things that I have to remember. There's only really one, and it is that we have to order dog food twice a month. So I'm just going to put that right there. And then the dates I have to do that are the 11th and 25th, I believe. So I'm just going to write that in here. Eleventh and twenty fifth. All right, so here I'm going to write October issue. Um, and that's it for now because I have to plan these out. All right, that is my September monthly spread in my A5 wide. I love this. Um, so let's pop this one back in. There, how sweet is that? Oh my goodness, I love this. I just love the scripts. I just think it changes everything. All right, and the last thing we're gonna do is set up my YouTube calendar and schedule. So let's pull this out as well. For this, I have a um, sheet with some scripts and stickers on it. These date dots are from a Planello uh, hobo kit. I really like the um, font in them and I thought it would be a good one to use here. So once again, I'm going to skip ahead um, while I date this and I will be right back. All right, I have dated this, um, and then the next thing that I'm gonna do is just put down um, a little bullet point on each day. I just like to use these to check them off, and it just adds a little bit of color. Um, it matches, I always do it to match my monthly spread um, for the given month, so. Okay, and then the last thing that I need to do is just fill in the videos. So Mondays are always my hobo. Uh, Wednesdays are always my A5, whoops, wide. Okay, Thursdays are new releases. Fridays are my skinny classic.
And then Saturdays are almost always my memory keeper. Um, the only time that changes is at the end of the month when I post my, like these videos here. Um, so the by the 5th, um, this one will already be up. So these stay the same. And based on the way that the months, the, the days go this um, in September, these will all stay the same as well. I think the monthlies will end up coming on the 3rd and 4th in October. Okay, there is one more sticker here that is for my budget setup. All right, so that this is a super simple spread, um, but it really helps me stay on track, stay up to date, know what I'm doing each month um, and each week what I need to film. So that is all I do for that. And we can pop it back into the planner. And that is all of the setup that we need to do for my A5 wide for September. So there we go. Those are the two monthly spreads that I use in this planner. I am excited for September to get here and start using this. I think this is so super cute. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. And don't forget to check me out over on Instagram and Etsy at A Pretty Planscape. I'll see you all again soon. Bye, friends.